Could you use some good news? I thought maybe. So I culled through the many, many hurricane-related stories this week and managed to pull together the following three items. And as is often the case, the really, really cool stuff, the stuff that provides us with the most encouragement, the most reasons to be hopeful, the good news, to coin a phrase, comes from the world of science. For instance, this first story, which was music to my runny nose. Scientists at the Stanford University School of Medicine and the University of Bern published a study on the website of the journal Nature describing how a synthetic molecule could disarm an antibody responsible for acute allergy attacks. The overzealous antibody, called IgE, is responsible for a wide variety of allergies, from ragweed to peanuts. This new synthetic molecule works by acting as an inhibitor, disconnecting IgE from the mast cells which trigger allergic reactions whenever allergens enter the body. While this particular molecule, dubbed E279, is a terrific discovery in and of itself, the authors of the study hope their work will lead to the discovery of more IgE inhibitors, ones that could work even more efficiently than E279. Take heart, fellow chronic nose wipers. Our salvation may nearly be at hand. This next one deals with another slightly more important recent medical breakthrough. An international team of scientists recently announced they have discovered the key to decoding the genetic programming of one of the most common and deadly forms of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. By reading and understanding this epigenetic programming, the software that determines how cells function, scientists can identify important biomarkers and develop targeted treatments that can kill existing cancer cells and block the development of new ones. New drugs based on these discoveries are being developed and tested, and at this point, things are looking very promising indeed. And now, last but certainly not least, scientists in South Africa announced they have found a vulnerable spot on the human immunodeficiency virus, which may enable them to develop the first HIV vaccine. HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, has proven stubbornly resistant to antibodies due to its incredibly fast mutation rate and the many strains of the virus which exist. While studying how HIV reacts to certain antibodies, researchers noticed that a glycan molecule attached to the virus had shifted positions slightly, leaving an open spot where an antibody could attach itself, thus alerting the immune system to the presence of the virus. Like the other two discoveries I mentioned in this video, this potential HIV vaccine is still in the very earliest stages of development. Nevertheless, researchers are hopeful that eventually they'll be able to fight HIV by introducing antibodies that can specifically target this newly discovered weak spot and even train the body to manufacture those antibodies itself, resulting in HIV immunity. Three new medical breakthroughs promising new and better treatments for allergies, one of the most common and lethal forms of cancer, and the plague of our age, HIV-AIDS. That's the good news.